Hello everyone, uh, this is Brad Tallis for another Fusion Friday. Uh, this is a little different. I'm actually down in Denver at the HFO Denver site, um, standing in front of this Haas VM2. And we just pulled this part out of the machine and you can actually see it is uh, a topographical map. So how would you go about not only making this um, in Fusion, but then how would you manufacture it from Fusion? So let's take a look. Okay, so how do we go about creating a mesh file like this from an image? Well, we're gonna use a Fusion plugin. So I'm gonna go to the Utilities tab, and here is this Add-ins. And typically we go to the Fusion App Store to search for um, different applications, uh, but this is not out on the App Store. It's actually out on a GitHub location. So I'm gonna just bring up a web page. And if you do a search which in whichever um, search engine you want to use, do a search for image to surface, and it'll take you to this page here. And on a PC, you could click on this little down arrow and say download zip. Once you get that zip file, you'll want to extract it. And I'll bring up a page here. So here's the zip file. And then here it is extracted. Next, I'm going to go into my scripts and add-ins. I'll click on this little add-ins tab. And I want to add an add-in. So I'm going to click this little plus icon. And what it does is it takes me to a deep location where it's expecting to see the files uh, that we just downloaded. So I'm going to right click on this add-ins and say copy address. Then what I can do is I'm going to go ahead and cancel this and I'll close this out also for now. And what we want to do is move these files into that address. So I'm going to create another uh, file explorer window like so and right click up in here and I'm sorry, just click in there and hit paste. And it'll take me to that location. Then all I have to do, uh, let me double click on this guy. I'm just gonna bring this folder. Let me move these around so you can kind of see what's going on here. Move this one down a little bit. So I'm just gonna drag this folder into that location there. So we just moved it into the correct location. Then finally, I can come into this add-ins, scripts and add-ins. I'll click on this here. I'll hit that little plus symbol. And there's the folder. So I'll go ahead and just select that folder and say select folder. And now you can see this image to surface is in the add-in. So I'll go ahead and hit run. And you'll notice it tells me there's a new command that's been added to the add-ins panel drop-down in the model workspace. So if I come in here, you'll see a new command called show image to surface. Now what I'm going to do is create a new design. I'll go into my utilities, add-ins, and I'll click on that show image to, add, uh, to mesh. And it br brings up this dialog here. And it's pretty simple to use. So I'm gonna choose a file. Now I'm going to um, pick a smaller image to start out with, but you can see I have a couple different topographical maps. And all I did there is search the web for um, you know, elevation, high resolution, topographic map, uh, United States or whichever state you want. And then you can just like download that particular image. So that's what I did here. So I'm going to do a uh, part of Colorado since that's where I'm based in. And you can see it kind of brings up this image. And if I just click and drag, you can actually look at it from the side. I'm going to scroll in a little bit and you can see that it took that image and using different colors, 
it figured out the different heights. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, I think this is Pike's Peak in Colorado. Um, I have some options over here. So you can see it says pic pixels to skip. You can kind of think of this almost like the resolution. So right now it's set to five. If I were to change this to like uh, 15, you'll notice that the image gets much more coarse. It's skipping over a lot more pixels and it kind of creates not as detailed of a mesh. It was five. Let's crank it down to um, three. So we'll make it a little bit more of a refined mesh. I usually click in a different uh, field for that to activate. And so now you can kind of see how we get a, a little bit tighter mesh. It looks a little bit nicer. Now, if I look at it from the side, it doesn't really show a lot of elevation. So I can also change the maximum height. And again, this is set to five. I'll set that to something like 15. Click in a different field and we can see how that kind of exaggerated uh, the depth. And that might be a little bit too much. So let's do maybe a nine in this case. And that looks a little bit better. Okay, um, you also can turn smoothing on or off. Um, I usually leave it on. Uh, you can invert the heights, so it's the opposite. <laughs> um, don't know why you'd wanna do that, but you can. Uh, and then you could also make it a, uh, an absolute, like black and white, we don't need to in this case. So I'm gonna go ahead and say generate surface. And it's going to take um, this and bring it in as a mesh in the fusion. And there we go. And there is Colorado as a mesh. Now, my map had like um, uh, county lines on it, so you can kind of see those. This isn't the best topographical map, but it's actually, you can see the resolution is pretty good. Now, what not a lot of people know is that you can actually... Um, use the manufacture workspace with meshes. So I'm just going to do a really quick setup. I'm not going to worry about, you know, which machine or anything like that. I'm just going to create a quick setup. I'll go ahead and select that mesh. You can see right there for the model. And then I will just do maybe a um, parallel. So I'll go ahead and select the parallel toolpath. Select a tool. Um, I'll just use like a, a ball end mill. Uh, so let's do a pretty small ball end mill. Let's just start with maybe like an eighth inch. I'll select that. And I'm just going to say OK. And it's going to figure out how to do a parallel tool path along this mesh. So I'm going to kind of zoom up here so you can kind of see what's going on. So, oops, a little bit too much. Um, so you can see how it's going to go up and over all of these mountains to create those ridges. Then I would just post-process this out, and you have a topographical map inside of Fusion. So hopefully you all learned something new with this video. Um, if you liked it, please make sure you give a thumbs up and uh, subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you on the next Fusion Friday.